Warning, the following video contains some major video game spoilers as we check out some secret deaths in video games. To the far south of the Mojave Wasteland in Fallout New Vegas, there stands a small town that was once a wicked and corrupt place known as Nipton, and is home now to numerous creatures, quests and many bodies. Two of which can be found in close proximity to the town hall, and all that remains are the charred corpses belonging to that of Owen and Baru. whom were none other than Luke Skywalker's auntie and uncle, as they also suffered the same fate in Star Wars Episode 4. In the very last mission known as Stone Rain in 3D Realm's Shadow Warrior from 1997, you will eventually clamber up a deadly volcano to activate numerous switches. One in particular that will open up a tunnel allowing yourself to jump down into the unknown depths of the mountain. Where not long after you can discover a secret panel that leads on into a special cave, which is home to two killer white rabbits and references to the Monty Python and Holy Grail movie. But as you venture in deeper, you will also discover the bodies of the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Kawabunga. Tomb Raider The Last Revelation and fourth instalment to the series follows a 16 year old Lara who is joined by Werner von Croy as they explore ancient ruins located in the northwest of Cambodia in search of the artifact named the Iris. Not long after the initial tutorial and during the very early stages, you can hop across a courtyard and take a series of steps down into a small chamber where you can feast your eyes on another well known treasure hunter. As yes, you can find the great Indiana Jones, who has been impaled on a bed of spikes, but still clutching on to his most famous of possessions. As you progress through Mission 12 Wild Territory in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, carefully navigate through the train platforms and make a heading towards the helicopter crash site, where nearby you can find a tunnel, a dead body as you enter, and electrical current spilling across the floor combined with deadly traps. But by taking the high ground and utilising the wreckages and containers, you will eventually find the body of Gordon Freeman and main protagonist from Half-Life plus a rather powerful handgun known as the Black Kite. For those of you that have played Kojima's digital comic adventure Snatcher on a variety of console ports, will know that Gibson's death is a rather gruesome one upon discovering him in a factory. Roll forward to 2008, when Fallout 3 arrived and by travelling across the metro lines from Mall South West to this station located at Grid Reference 1615, you will be able to find the Capitol Post building on a street corner, where lying on the sub-level, a chap also named Gibson is slumped up against the wall, 
and has also suffered the exact same fate with his head decapitated and resting between his legs. He is also carrying a note reading, search the house, the same message from the original game which will lead you to a dwelling in Minefield. In the Sega Genesis port of the hack and slash adventure The Sword of Soden, you should gather up four different potions and highlight them all at once to create one wacky combination and one hell of a cocktail. And then send it down the hatch to which your character's chest will rip open. and blood will seep out onto the floor while the message winners don't do drugs appears on the screen. Which is also a direct reference to the FBI screenshots that was placed on imported arcade machines to North America from 1989 to 2000. Upon the stage known as the Forsaken Compound in Sirius Sam 2, which was released in 2005, it is after passing the third main gate that you shouldn't be so eager to complete the level, as by veering off to the left, there is a small chain of islands that leads to a secret sword, hat and a coat. Plus a dead tree, where hanging from it, you can find the corpse of Duke Nukem with a rocket shoved through his pelvis. Secret Duke skeleton has been found. Dude. You've been hanging here, like, forever! A reference to the title Duke Nukem Forever, which, yeah, wasn't released for another six years after this game, but believe it or not, Duke Nukem Forever was first announced back in 1997. In 2014, Lara Croft set out on an adventure to recover the fragments of Osiris to stop Set from enslaving all humanity. She's seen us! Run! Roughly 10 minutes in, you again, like in the last revelation, can discover another adventurer. It seems we're not the first adventurers to come this way. But instead of Indiana Jones, you can find the skeleton of Nathan Drake who has succumbed to an awful death with a sword that has been plunged through his chest. If you happen to walk the riverbanks of the River Charles just to the south of the Cambridge Polymer Labs in Fallout 4, then you will stumble upon a motionless boat close to the embankment. And by hopping upon it will definitely make for some great viewing, as there lays a mutant shark and the body of a man sporting a machete and a bandana, who is none other than Ben Gardner, portraying that terrifying scene from Jaws directed by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, for our final death scene, we are checking out Beavis and Butthead in virtual stupidity, and it is every bit as funny, crude and rude as the regular TV show, as the pair skip school to join a gang and cause havoc in just about every corner of the town. But when you visit the coffee house for a benefit regarding saving the sperm whales, head straight into the toilets and use the foot icon on the three screws holding up the broken mirror. Then use it upon the skull and prepare yourself for a very secret death. Fuck you, Beavis. 
<laughs> Dumbass. So I really hoped you enjoyed the video and don't forget you can always follow the channel on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and if you haven't quite had enough of me for today then here are several videos to watch which are all available on mobile devices.